Bad Harzburg, a tiny town in the foothills of the Hartz Mountains, resort destination. When you get among these quiet, cozy and groomed streets, you get an impression that somebody will now start whispering in your ear. Once upon a time, in a small land, far, far away, there was a fabulous fairy tale. You feel really a little strange here, as for the world where adults usually live. A little bit warmer and more caring, nicer and cozier. As if someone had turned off all the worries and anxieties, you get into somebody's tender and caring hands. That's clear. The town carries out no function other than resort one. Except, perhaps, the Economy Executive Board Academy, an educational institution for managers. The founders of the school elaborated the world-famous Hartzburg management model, the system of delegation and encouraging initiatives. The contrast to the patriarchal leadership style. All in all, the miracle on the Rhine was forged here too. It's theoretical site. Apart from that, it is quite cozy and pretty calm town. Spas, quiet hotels, thermos, tennis courts, mud baths, rap therapy, small restaurants, cafes and shops. Here you can work out, recovery, just walk or sit quietly on a bench. Enjoy rippling of the brook that runs down the mountain slope. Lothar Church stands little apart from the central street. It doesn't strike an eye, although being situated on uplands. The church is well matched with the town. Dream beautiful and cozy. It was built in the beginning of the 20th century. Despite of this, the history of the church goes back over several centuries. It was mentioned as early as 14th century, originally built of rubble stones, then ruined during the Thirty Years' War. It was reconstructed with timber framing. This building in neo-Gothic style is a little more than 100 years old. It was barely damaged during the war. In addition to modern adornments, there are ancient things too. The statue of Mary with Jesus, is around 500 years old. It was made even before the Reformation. There is a wonderful fountain in the center of the town. The author is Johann Müller. Basically, it is a monument to the healing waters of Bad Harzburg and to the immortal aphorism of Henry Estienne, if youth but new, if age but could. Indeed, the fountain is called Fountain of Youth, a reminder about lost opportunities and wish to reverse the time. Maybe it is right, as long as you are alive, nothing is lost. The history itself proves it. The town has seen rise and fall. It has been inhabited since ancient times. According to some sources, here was a settlement as early as 300 years before Christ. A big idol of Crodo stood somewhere here. It was worshipped by inhabitants. That's new one. The old one was demolished by Charles the Great in 780. A chapel has replaced it.
Local tribes became Christians. However, the cult of forest as an ancient sanctuary has been kept alive in the national memory. During the Thirty Years' War, all the villagers were standing on the exact same spot were destroyed. The stone church was demolished, but some Christian sanctuaries survived. So, a threefold health resort. Mud baths, Christian sanctuaries and pagan temple. The Bad Harzburg settlement was previously called as Neustadt. It was just a small settlement near the Harzburg castle. The fortress was erected in 11th century by Henry IV. Nowadays, you can climb its ruins, three minutes by cable car. A breathtaking view. From here, you can see not only Bad Harzburg, but also Goslar. We will return to it later and look at it in details. The history of Imperial Castle is pretty intense. Henry IV loved his creation very much. It was not just defensive fortification. There was a castle, a church, where Emperor's relatives rested in peace. Here is just a hole so that train water can run out. Or maybe the architect depicted in this way a secret underpass, which Henry IV once used to escape from rebellious Saxon tribes who surrounded the castle. The castle was destroyed and reconstructed several times. This lasted as long as it was significant for protection of Empress residence in Goslar. In fact, it is one of the historical centers of the early German Empire. Here stands Canossa Zoile, just in two steps from Emperor's castle ruins. The words of Otto von Bismarck are carved here. We shall not go to Canossa. There is a reference to a historical fact when the Emperor of the Roman Empire of the German nation, Henry IV, begged forgiveness of Pope Gregory VII. What a beautiful view! You can walk in these mountains. Several routes are elaborated for tourists. One of them will lead to my relatives. In the past, they could freely work here. <laughs> 